The third movie beautifully concluded the trilogy, igniting a strong desire for the Equalizer 4 and more captivating tales featuring Denzel Washington's iconic character, Robert McCall. <laughs> Denzel Washington has been the driving force behind every Equalizer film since taking on the role in 2014, with the most recent installment being 2023's The Equalizer 3. The Equalizer franchise has enjoyed immense success, largely thanks to Washington's exceptional portrayal of the retired US Marine turned vigilante. The prospect of the Equalizer 4 excites fans as it would follow in the footsteps of an action-packed, visually stunning trilogy acclaimed not only for its cinematography and direction but also for its exhilarating fight sequences and stylish action. Although the Equalizer 3 tied up Robert McCall's story for now, ongoing discussions about the Equalizer 4 and Denzel Washington's potential return to the franchise are already underway. Despite the Equalizer 3's box office triumph, Columbia Pictures has not yet confirmed the Equalizer 4. It's possible they share Denzel Washington's belief that Robert McCall's tale is best explored within a trilogy. Director Antoine Fuqua, who helmed The Equalizer 3, has expressed interest in returning for The Equalizer 4, but his participation hinges on Denzel Washington's involvement. In an interview with EW, the director stated, Yeah, it's up to Washington. Obviously, if he wanted to do another one, I would as well, but I don't see it. But who knows? The most significant change for The Equalizer 4 would undoubtedly be the absence of Denzel Washington. Until the movie is confirmed, speculating about the rest of the cast remains uncertain, as we don't know which character the story would revolve around in the absence of Robert McCall. The conclusion of The Equalizer 3 nearly tied up loose ends without any cliffhangers or hints about McCall's successor. One potential option for The Equalizer 4 cast could involve continuing the story with Dakota Fanning, who co-starred The Equalizer 3 as Emma Collins. Collins, as the goddaughter of McCall's former handler, Susan Plummer, possesses the connections to McCall necessary to serve as a bridge character and lead the cast without Denzel Washington in The Equalizer 4. While there is a wealth of source material to draw from The Equalizer 4, there is alter the possibility of crafting an entirely original narrative. The Equalizer itself is a reimagining of the 1980s TV show of the same name, sharing few direct story parallels. If The Equalizer 4 gets the green light, it'll likely embark on a fresh journey centered around the next Equalizer, introducing a new central vigilante character for what could be the next trilogy in the franchise. However, another intriguing option under consideration is a prequel focusing on a younger Robert McCall, suggesting that The Equalizer 4, as a direct sequel, might take a back seat. That being said, a tease that The Equalizer 4 could de-age Denzel Washington for a prequel means the franchise is ignoring a better solution to continuing Robert McCall's story. Denzel has led Sony's Equalizer franchise since the first movie was released in 2014. His time playing the character is expected to end with The Equalizer 3. The final movie in the trilogy has been marketed as the conclusion of McCall's story and Denzel's time in the role. However, director Antoine Fuqua has surprisingly teased ideas for an Equalizer prequel movie that de-aging Denzel Washington has been discussing. It is unsurprising that Sony or Fuqua are interested in keeping the Equalizer franchise going in some fashion. The movies have been rather successful at the box office and remain Denzel's only franchise. It's understandable that everyone involved would want to keep Denzel around for Equalizer 4, and a potential prequel story might make more sense than continuing Robert McCall's story even as he gets older. The rising popularity of de-aging technology in Hollywood makes this possibility more realistic. While Fuqua might want Denzel Washington bad for Equalizer 4, de-aging him misses the best option to continue the franchise. De-aging Denzel Washington in Equalizer 4 is not a guaranteed recipe for success, as the technology can be quite complicated to pull off well. There are plenty of great examples of de-aging actors in movies, but it's just as easy, if not easier, for them to go awry. Denzel Washington has plenty of movies from when he was younger. Equalizer 4 could base its de-aged look on, which could help the end results. The problem is that de-aging actors create more questions and concerns beyond just ensuring the faces look like the younger selves. One issue that de-aging actors in action movies repeatedly create is that the characters feel much older than they look. Whether it was Samuel L. Jackson as a de-aged Nick Fury in Captain Marvel, or Robert De Niro de-aged for The Irishman, viewers noted that these characters moved like people in their 70s even though their faces were de-aged several decades. 
Considering Equalizer 4 would surely put Robert McCall in more action scenarios as a younger man, the same issue could arise from de-aging Denzel Washington for the prequel. This issue will only be exacerbated if the de-aging CGI does not meet expectations. The better option for Equalizer 4 is recasting Denzel Washington with his son, John David Washington. They look similar enough to each other that John David Washington could realistically pass as a younger Robert McCall. He'd be in his early 40s by the time Equalizer 4 happens, so the prequel could go back several decades in McCall's life without needing to de-age Denzel Washington. John David Washington already has experience in action movies thanks to Tenet and the creator, so he could very well be positioned to follow in his father's footsteps and become the new face of the Equalizer franchise. Equalizer 4 recasting John David Washington as a younger Robert McCall would be an excellent opportunity to give the franchise a new feeling. Although the movies would take place in the 1990s or early 2000s, he can bring an updated and fresh characterization to a character audiences think they already know much about. It would also be a unique opportunity for a father and son to play the same role in a franchise. The aging Denzel Washington for Equalizer 4 might still happen, but John David Washington is right there for a perfect recast. If the Equalizer franchise might continue with a prequel movie about Denzel Washington's character, there are some big Robert McCall questions to answer. Robert McCall's story could continue with the Equalizer's prequel movie, and it would have the potential to answer some major questions about the character. The popular action franchise has had three installments revolving around Denzel's heroic character since the reboot began in 2014. Audiences have seen Robert McCall take down various mercs and reason mafias over the course of the trilogy, but the future of the franchise is uncertain. One idea that's been considered according to director Antoine Fuqua is an Equalizer prequel movie, one that could even de-age Denzel Washington. The prequel movie about Robert McCall would be an excellent opportunity for the Equalizer franchise to continue regardless of whether Denzel returns or not. This would present the movies with a chance to dive deeper into the character's past. While audiences have spent a lot of time with McCall during all three Equalizer movies, details on his past have been sparingly included. The franchise has mostly focused on the missions at hand rather than fleshing out his background. There have been a few different teasers about his past that still have unanswered questions attached, but the Equalizer prequel could answer them. One of the biggest mysteries in the movies is what exactly happened to Robert McCall's wife Vivian. It's known that she died sometime before the first Equalizer. The movies have indicated that this was the result of an illness, but any specific details about her passing have otherwise been left out. Depending on when the prequel takes place, it would be an opportunity to finally shed light on Vivian's death and what it was like for Robert. The Equalizer prequel movie would also potentially be a place to reveal exactly how Robert McCall faked his death. The movies have established that he used a car bomb to fake his death so that he could be with Vivian. However, that leaves out a lot of information about the pain, how it happened, and why it was so convincing. McCall clearly did a great job faking his death, but how did he make it so convincing and covered his tracks is unknown. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great content. We value your feedback, so please leave a comment below to let us know what impressed you the most or any suggestions that you might have. Stay tuned for our next video, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Oh, <laughs>